Well, if you feel you have perfected your pins, forks, skewers, and zvishenzugs, it may be time to test out your chess skills against some other local players. The 6th Annual Broome County Chess Championship Francis Cordisco Memorial takes place over the next two Sundays. The tournament has two sections, open and reserve, with cash prizes for the top three finishers in each section, and everyone receives a trophy. Organizer John Cordisco predicts that people will continue playing chess for many years to come. It doesn't care how tall you are, it doesn't care how short you are, it doesn't care how old you are, it doesn't care how much money you make, it doesn't ca care what language your parents speak at home or where you're from. It's one of the games in a sport that's the great equalizer. It's just your brain against somebody else's, and that's really pure sport. Registration is this Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9.45, with rounds beginning at 10, 1, and 4. It takes place at Cordisco's Chess Center, which is in the back of Cordisco's Corner Store on Shenango Street in Binghamton. You must be a member of U.S. Chess Federation to compete. To join, go to uschess.org. Chess is a timeless game that requires skill, concentration, and a lot of passion. It's a complete workout for your brain. Today marked the last day of the 6th Annual Broome County Chess Tournament in Binghamton. The best competitors of all ages came from around the country to show off their skills. Organizer John Cordisco said chess is the best equalizer. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how physically fit you are. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter what language you speak. And it does, none of those things matter. It's only your brain against someone else's, and that's the ultimate sport. Three rounds were played last Sunday, and the final three were played this afternoon. Cordisco holds the tournament each year in memory of his brother, Francis. $500 in prize money was given out today. Hi, folks. John Cordisco back again. It's been a little while since I've done a chess video. Got several ready to go, but just been kind of busy. My business here, I own a convenience store. Anyway, this is from the 6th annual Broome County Championship. Broome County is in upstate New York and this is played in Binghamton. Round two, I'm in this game. This is a game I think where the little bit I have left of my mind went away. <laughs> You'll see I got some other games but this is really a wild game and it's just... Anyway, you gotta show your losses too. C4, Brian Carson He's rated 1583 is white, and I'm black at 1529. Between working all week in my store and getting all ready for the tournament and getting a hold of the media and all the interviews and stuff, there'll be some interviews. You'll see some of the footage from the local media for the tournament. Enough of my yakking, though. E5 is going to be English, of course. Bishop, A3. Interesting at A3, though. I would rather have probably developed a knight, but g6. Maybe that wasn't the way to go. If I was going to go maybe d6, maybe I would have went here. Then this bishop comes out and this bishop comes here. But I decided to go g6 anyway. Knight c3. Pawn. I kind of did it anyway. Just a different order. e4. Bishop g7. Now it says that's the last book move. So I guess we're on our own. Of course, the other knight comes out. Bishop g4. It's one of the top moves. They're all close together. Castle, bishop g4. Knight d4 was an interesting move. Bishop g4. He says to go f3. And that was also the computer's choice. Just kicking my bishop back to e6 and then he goes d3 now what I really don't like about this is these pawns this bishop right now isn't really doing much queen c8 h3 it's got me castling on the king side queen to d7 I decided to go h5 just to make him castle on the queen side or at least attempt to bishop e3 Bishop h6. Queen. Bishop takes. Queen takes. Queen d7. Now, he's got a small advantage for white here. Half a pawn, maybe a little over. I think I'm okay so far. I mean, I haven't completely lost 
the little bit that's left in my mind. Knight d5. It's got three moves close. I got one of them, oddly enough. Knight to h7. d4. Now here's where I think I start to lose it. And I thought it was a reasonable move. I really did. Computer's got me castling kingside. It wants me to castle on the king side. And at this point, as you can see from the structure, I know the pawns are coming on the queen side, but white hasn't castled yet either. We're going to play a little game here. See who's going to castle first, and we'll do the opposite side. It's got e takes d4. As my move. But... I went f5. I wanted to open it up. I didn't think he was going to castle on the queen side anymore, so now I've got a problem. I'm down almost two pawns in score. D takes, knight takes. Now this is where he messes up a little bit. It looked like a legitimate move. Queen to c3, and all of a sudden all the advantage is gone. It liked e takes. Bishop takes, C takes, Queen takes. But almost two point advantage for White. But he went Queen C3 instead. Now the three moves is F takes C4, castle short, castles long. I decided to castle long. I didn't think it was, it's okay. I mean, that's a reasonable move, I think. Get my king out of the center of the board. His is still there. Knight to d4. I went g5. And it's got a question mark. It says there are better ways to keep up the pressure. I don't know. I, I, I like that move okay. Knight takes. Queen takes. And then he castles long. I said, okay, he's not going to do a pawn storm on me. It like much better. E takes. Queen f7, then castles. That was one of the scenarios it gave. He castled long. Actually, it's one of the top two computer moves. Pretty close in score. King to b8, just to get your king out of the line of fire and to protect the a-pawn. I didn't want that queen coming in here and causing grief. f4. That's only a two-third pawn advantage now. I mean, I, I'm back in the game. It likes G takes F4 the best. But I moved my knight back. It's not the end of the world. It's getting a little shaky there. I wanted my knight over by my king. Rook D1, knight C5. Okay, that's a good spot for that knight. E5. Now, it's a two-point advantage right now for White. The little bit that I had, I just blew. And I'm looking at this now. I mean, look at this. The bishop's bearing down. Oop, bad arrow. Two rooks. The queen is here. I got a world of hurt coming my way. Queen to h6, believe it or not, was the computer's choice. Now, I never would have done that. I mean, look at this poor knight. He's worthless. He can't move here. Can move here, big deal. By the time I get him going over here, ah, it's terrible. I go rook h to f8, and that's and that's a disaster. It says an oversight, but black was lost anyway. Thank you very much. After queen h6, pawn takes, c takes, b4, and it's coming. But after rook, now this is a move I'm really surprised that he made. Knight takes c7. Pretty ballsy. Decided to go king to b1 instead. He was getting a little spooked too, maybe. If he had taken... I have to move the queen. E takes. G takes. King to b1. Now look how crazy that is. Holy crap. But after king to b1... Queen to f7... I don't know where to put the queen. That's the problem. C6 to kick the knight. Pawn takes. 
And I should play Queen Tex. I mean, look at the position here. And I got desperate. And I went knight to e4. Figured I'll give up a pawn to get that light squared bishop out. Bishop takes, c takes. I probably should have played f takes instead of c takes. It's still lost, but c takes. Bishop takes. Queen to g6. Totally, totally worthless. Rook e7. You can see the rest of this coming. Believe it or not, right now, I don't think I've ever seen a score this high before on the computer. It's an over 31 point advantage for white. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen a score that high before in favor of one side. Now it shows mate 19. Rook takes. Rook takes. This is this is just painful to watch. Queen to a5, and I said to hell with it, and I resigned. To give you a rough idea of what was coming, but you couldn't tell anyway. After rook to f7, queen checks, rook, bishop takes, rook takes, bishop checks, king to d8, bishop, discovered check, queen to d6, queen takes, you get the idea. Rook to d7, and then mate. Oh, boy. I didn't show my first round game yet. It was a interesting king and pawn ending. I'll get that one up as soon as I can. But I put this one on the computer first. So I wanted to see how many times and where I screwed up. So I analyzed this game first. But anyway, folks, that's a game from round two of the 6th Annual Broome County Championship Francis Cordisco Memorial in honor of my youngest brother who passed away four years ago. So there it is, in all its glory <laughs> and pain. And as I always say, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.